In this video, we will discuss navigating 3D models. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0105 navigating 3 dmodelsdwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. So in this video, we're going to talk about the basics of navigating AutoCAD and navigating 3D models. We'll talk in greater detail about the specifics of the different navigation tools in other videos as well. So let's first just talk about basic AutoCAD zooming. To zoom in AutoCAD, you simply wheel in on your mouse with a middle mouse button to zoom in, and to zoom out, you simply wheel away from the screen. Very simple. To do a zoom extents, a little trick or a tip here that a lot of people aren't aware of, you simply double middle click, and that will do a zoom extents. As far as panning goes, panning is also done with the middle mouse button. You simply hold the mouse button down, and you can pan around. To quickly rotate the view, you simply hold the shift key down on the keyboard and hold the middle mouse button down, and then you move your cursor in the direction you want to go to, and that will rotate your view. Note that all these tools are available on the navigation bar in the AutoCAD application window. One of the other really great tools that you can use to navigate 3D models is the steering wheel. The steering wheel is located in the View tab of the 3D Modeling Workspace, and the steering wheel tool is located under the Navigate panel. I'll click that. You get this steering wheel interface at your cursor. To work with the steering wheel can be a little confusing at first because it does go a little bit against how you normally zoom around in AutoCAD. Basically, what you need to just be aware of is you hold down the mouse and then let go of the mouse when you're done with the functionality that you're doing. For instance, I'll move my mouse right near the center of my building. I'm going to click and hold down the zoom function and then move my cursor up. Notice how it zooms in and the steering wheel comes back. I can enter the center option and move my cursor to the area that I want to center. Now I'm not letting go of the left mouse button and I'll simply let go and it centers the view where my cursor was located. If I want to look, I can click and hold down the mouse and this will kind of orbit the tool and look around. If I want to completely orbit around, you can do up and down this way by holding down the left mouse button and selecting the orbit option. You can also do a walkthrough as well. As you move your cursor in the direction you want to go to, it will actually walk your 3D model. Note that to go up and down, you can use the up and left mouse button by simply moving your cursor in this general direction. It'll move it up and down. What you also have available is the rewind tool. I really like this one as you click and hold the mouse button down and you can rewind like a VCR to the different zooming that you may have done with the steering wheel. So this is a really cool little option to go ahead and rewind your viewing operations. And of course, we have pan, which allows you to simply pan the drawing as well. When you have completed any kind of navigating of your 3D models, you simply press escape and that will get you out of the steering wheel command. One of the other features of AutoCAD is the fact that you can also have what's called named views. We will discuss this in more detail in a future video. If you go to the View tab or even it's in the Home tab as well, you can select the Views drop down, and these are the named views that are already stored within this file. So, in other words, somebody actually went in and created these named views. A named view is basically a snapshot of a orientation of a drawing and all the visual settings that you possibly would have set up prior to creating the named view. You also have these standard 3D views like top, bottom, isometric, right, left, etc., that you can also leverage as well. I'll select the camera one and notice how it automatically changes to a realistic visual style that shows this kitchen with materials and shading and lighting already turned on. Let's go back to that drop down and select the overall named view. That puts it back into a 2D wireframe type view and the drawing is now oriented above the actual model. You also have quick access to the named views in the View Controls drop down of the Viewport Controls area of the viewport. By simply clicking, you have access to those standard 3D views we just talked about, as well as the custom model views that we just saw. So, this is probably the fastest way to access any of the named views. There are many ways to navigate around your 3D models. This concludes this video discussing navigating 3D models.